YouTubers um, an aquaponic update and mini grow room update. What I wanted to do was to get some salads germinating for the aquaponic system that's out in the tunnel. So in order to do that, uh, <coughs> I decided to set up a mini grow room because the temperatures outside are very low and it's, it's hard to get things started out there. Um, so we had um, a hot press that was already on average 21 degrees all the time. So it had excess heat, we had a few shelves free, we cleared the shelves and lined it <coughs> with reflective sheeting, much like the foil one, but as I put in an LED grow light, the choice was between an expensive to buy LED and low running costs, which to me is more of a concern than uh, a cheaper light and heavy running costs. <coughs> the growth is, is excellent. Uh, these need to go outside. I filled the aquaponic system with salads. These need to go outside either into the soil. These growing media is just a coconut husk. Um, <coughs> this here is wheatgrass for juicing. Um, these need to be used. The other one there that's just as big was cut about three to four days ago. Grows back as fast. Uh, tomato plant. I don't know how old these are. These are only about three weeks, four weeks old. About three to four weeks old. We have uh, mini tomatoes coming out on them. Um, I, I only put in a few tomato plants and melon plants to see what would what would happen. It was mainly for salad plants um, to go out and fill the holes in the aquaponic system in the tunnel. But decided that it would be handy to have a mini aquaponic system for testing new ideas and I would like to see if I could grow out some tomato plants and some melon plants and some other plants that normally you couldn't grow outside this time of the year so what we did is is we brought in this tub filled it with water this isn't finished yet we have to uh, put in a proper uh, raft in here well, we put we put a variety of plants in here to see how they're doing, and as you can see, the tomato plant is just every day. It's you can you can you can see it growing every single day. Um, <clears throat> there's one melon plant not doing well here because of the water spraying on it. Uh, we've aeration in it, and just a, there's a very small pump in the small fish tank that I'll show you in a minute, and it's just it's just very little, you know. You know, it's just circulating a very small amount of water, and then we have an overflow pipe. Um, so what we have in here are melon plants, uh, winter lettuce, um, tomatoes, some more winter lettuce, uh, salads, and uh, some more salads. But you can see the growth in here for Ireland melon plants and tomato plants in in. Uh, February, January, February is very, very good. Uh, I'll just show you the fish tank. Just a quick overview of the fish tank. Uh, it's just a small fish tank. You need to top up the water just a small bit on it. Uh, you can see this is the overflow back to the fish tank, the clean water overflow. Bit of aeration. Very small pump with the little tube coming out of it. Um, tank is a bit dirty because I fed them. Uh, I have a homemade feed that I'm testing that I made from a, another YouTube <coughs> channel and uh, made up a homemade feed which is very easy to make so it, 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 the mix isn't quite right but these are the types of tests that I like to do in a smaller system where if something does go wrong which I don't foresee anything going wrong with it, that cleans out in about 20 minutes but uh, small little things like uh, uh, changing the feed or changing anything like that would, um, wouldn't cause me major problems but if you were doing changing feed in the larger aquaponic system which would be about 4,000 litres to 5,000 litres of water you could lose a lot if something did go wrong. But that's basically it. It's working great. Uh, we'll do an update on this um, in a couple of weeks time to show you the growth. Hopefully we'll have some tomatoes. Hopefully it'll be successful. What we're hoping to get out of it, we've already got out of it, is uh, the plants here, I would take them and put them out into the tunnel. And then we would get fully grown plants. It was only to start plants. But hopefully an additional benefit to this is what we're testing with this is we may get hopefully get some tomatoes uh, and some fully grown salads 
um, uh, we're making the best of like an indoor growing hydroponic but it's aquaponic with the grow lights and everything so hopefully we can get this whole indoor system uh, uh, working well um, because the, the wheat grass is great and the greens are they're great indoors you know um, the growth in them has been fantastic I'll, we'll try and do a video on the uh, or digging out for the uh, the uh, aquaponic systems in the tunnel upgrade so hopefully we'll do a video on that soon and we'll try and get those tanks into the tunnel try and get a bit of progress going on that front thanks a million for watching talk to you soon